In this video, we will introduce a new feature to the Radeon ProRender plugin for Houdini called the Material X Library. In the most recent update for the HD RPR build for Houdini, the Import Material option has been included. It offers a robust list of ProRender material presets that can be used in the stage network or LOP network of your scene, simplifying the material assignment process and making the assigned material node unnecessary for exporting an RPR. To gain access to this feature, simply update your current version of the HDRPR package as usual and open Houdini to confirm that the installation was successful. After opening Houdini, click on the RPR option in your main drop down menu and you'll see a new Import Material option. After clicking Import Material, a window will appear giving you instructions on how to install the required material library. The library is a pre built directory with .mtlx materials that can be downloaded from the link provided in this window. Download it and save it to your preferred location. I've already gone ahead and done so. As the window in Houdini explained, this path will be called the RPR MTLX Material Library Path, and you will need to tell the plugin where to find this folder. Though there are a couple of ways to tell Houdini the location of this path, the way I'll be demonstrating is the method of editing the RPR for Houdini JSON file. Locate and open the RPR for Houdini JSON file in your Packages folder, which is found inside your main Houdini folder. Usually it would be in your Documents folder if you haven't changed the directory of it when you first installed Houdini. At the very end of this line of code, start a new process with a comma and open three-point bracket and in quotations type rpr underscore mtlx underscore material underscore library underscore path add a colon afterward next in your file explorer Find your material library and copy the path to it. Then, again in quotations, paste it into the JSON file. Be sure to switch your slash marks with backslash marks. Then end your code line with a closed three-point bracket, a closed two-point bracket, and a final closed three-point bracket. Once you're done, save it, and close out of the file, and restart Houdini. After reopening Houdini, check the Import Material option in the RPR drop-down menu again, and this time, a new window will appear revealing the library preset list, complete with images showing each material's characteristics. This means that our installation was a success. Next, let's take a look at how to put these materials to use in a Houdini scene. 